the new Hercules 20 volt brushless grinder from Harbor Freight. This is the Hercules HCB61P and it's the 20 volt brushless four and a half inch angle grinder. It will also run five inch wheels as well with the same guard. Uh, does not come with any batteries, comes as a bare tool. So basically you get the spanner wrench, you get the auxiliary handle and the tool, obviously the tool guard as well, or the wheel guard as well, but none of the chargers or batteries come with it. Everything's kind of a la carte. We'll go over all of that pricing warranty, everything else during the features. Then we'll go use it and come back and talk about what we think of it. This is the Hercules HCB61P and it's their four and a half to five inch brushless 20 volt angle grinder. Now Harbor Freight continues to expand this Hercules 20 volt brushless line into uh, better performing and even better looking tools, uh, definitely better ergonomics. So we're gonna check out this uh, paddle switch grinder. I'm not sure if they have a slide switch yet, but in this case, this is a paddle switch grinder. Um, looks like we have a tool free guard on here as well. So I'd like to see that. Uh, looks like we have some mesh guards right here for the, you know, ensuring that the intake air is staying free from grinding debris. So we'll take a look at that. So we'll take a look at all the features here. We'll discuss these things and then we'll, we'll take it over and use it a bit. Um, and of course, we'll talk about pricing and warranty as well. So first off, pretty typical looking angle grinder, right? They're all kind of starting to take the same uh, shape and feel when it comes to these cordless grinders. I do like the kind of the slim down effect right here in the handle where you're going to hold it. Um, some of these things get quite massive, which they're still a big tool. Um, so small handed people typically have a little more trouble handling a tool like this, but it's definitely not oversized, if you will. And we have some, some good ergonomics here with the rubber overmolding that, that feels quite nice. Typical paddle switch in the fact that you have a lock out here, so you have to pull this back to free up that lock and then you can squeeze the paddle switch. And I believe that's an on off paddle switch. There's no variable here, which that's not what you want in a grinder anyway. You want it to come on, come off. Um, 8,500 RPM is what they're claiming on this. I believe it's a 5 8 uh, 11 Arbor. So pretty typical on a four and a half inch to have that 5 8 11 Arbor. And then it looks like we have an Arbor lock right here for, uh, for tool free. A uh, blade change as well. Some will argue that you still need a tool to, to loosen that nut, and sometimes you will, but for the most part, I can show you how you usually don't need uh, that wrench to open that. Now, Harbor Freight does include the Arbor wrench as well as the handle, and speaking of the handle, that handle can be placed on the left side or the right side. There's not one for the center or the top, uh, but we do have left or right, which is usually your prominent positions for a grinder. Take a look here at the tool free guard adjustment here. So we just flip this out and then we can turn that wherever we want to. There's no indexing locations. So literally we can turn this upside down if we want to. We can even pull it off if we need to as well, but set that wherever we need for cutting or grinding. Then we can close it down, clamp it into place and it's ready to go. Now, one thing I did notice that I'm not too keen on is we have the state looks like stainless steel mesh here, which I like that because what happens here, especially on these brushless tools is we have an internal fan in here that's usually mounted right there on the brushless motor. So that's delivering all your power. You also have electronics in here that have to handle turning the, uh, the brushless motor on and off and handling any, uh, you know, emergency situations like overheating and things like that and shutting the tool down. Anyway, those, all those electronics need to stay somewhat cool. So what happens is there's a fan that pulls air in through here. So air actually comes in, this is the intake, and then it flows all the way down the body of the tool, which is awesome. And then as it exits the body of the tool, it comes out right here. So typically you'll feel this pretty warm air, especially after you're using the tool a bit. And it should have somewhat of a cooling effect on the gear case here, which by the way, they also claim an all metal gearbox as well. Now my problem with this Hercules is these are not removable screens. So as they pile up with metal debris, which they will, the only option here is to either blow them out, which I don't like because if you're blowing them out, then you're blowing all that debris and forcing it through the screen or trying to kind of blow it off. 
or the better option would be to vacuum it off. But I would really like to see these in kind of in rubber encased, if you will, and be able to pull these off. A lot of your uh, higher end grinders definitely offer that to where you're pulling these off and then you can take a blow gun and blow it reverse, you know, from the inside out and blow all that debris off. But these are not removable. Not that we can tell. Oh, wait a second. Look at there. I spoke too soon. So these are removable. That's awesome. So this is something that you definitely need to take note of. From time to time, as these clog, take these off, blow them out, and then replace them because this is paying, playing a critical role in ensuring that your grinder stays nice and safe, and especially those electronics in there. They don't need metal shrapnel being blown through the tool. So kudos to Hercules for making that happen there. Now let's jump ahead and talk about pricing and warranty on the grinder as well as the batteries and chargers here, just so you have an idea as we roll forward here into the performance side of things. So the HCB 61P grinder, so that's the grinder, is gonna run you $89.99, 90 bucks, right? Okay. Well, if you elect to buy the four amp hour extreme performance battery, and I would definitely recommend this battery, so we'll call this the four amp hour. That's gonna run you $69 or $69.99. Call that 70 bucks, right? Okay, if you elect to buy the five amp hour battery, it's going to be tremendously different. It's gonna be $69.99. No, I'm kidding. So yeah, it's gonna be the identical price. So even if you elected this, which I'll tell you why you don't wanna elect this with this grinder, anyway, it'd still be the same price. So we're gonna call that a wash. And then if you wanted to buy a charger, so this eight amp single battery charger, so charger, that's gonna run you $44.99, 45 bucks, okay? So if you look at that all in, the 90 plus the 70, that's 160 plus the 45, that's gonna be 205 bucks all in for your battery, your charger, and the tool. Now, you're getting up there past the $90 entry fee, if you will, uh, but with your battery and charger, hopefully you can continue to kind of expand that and then you can have multiple tools running off that same battery platform. So yes, buying a la carte may cost you a little more in the beginning than buying some other kit, but if you're buying a really good tool and you're expanding your platform and then you can add, actually leverage that into other tools to buy them bare tool because let's say you already had some of these chargers and batteries and you just wanted to buy the grinder, 90 bucks in on a brushless 20 volt grinder for if it performs well is a very good deal now let's discuss these batteries really quick this four amp hour and this five amp hour you can't just look at the oh four is less than five so five is better in this situation not true if you were just uh running a light an led light then yes i'd say grab the five amp hour you're looking for runtime in this case we're looking for power from a grinder and it's continually using power. If you have it on, it is demanding that power. And this four amp hour is going to do a lot better on that than this five amp hour. Why? Well, let's look when we turn these things up on their side and you can see that that four amp hour is quite a bit wider and quite a bit longer than that five amp hour. And that's because this is running 21,700 cells. This is running 18,650 cells. This will output more per cell than this will. As well, it's going to be just be a better power-driven battery than the five amp hour. Better run time on this, again, if it's not power demanding, but you're definitely gonna see more performance here as well as you're having uh, more capacity also. But you can say we're, we can see we're running a single layer of batteries to get the four amp hours there, where here we're having to run a dual layer of batteries here to get the five amp hours. So anyway, my point is, on the grinder, choose the four amp hour. You're gonna be happier, especially when it's uh, apples to apples because same price. Are you gonna suffer a little in runtime? Probably not that you're gonna notice because of the five amp hour, you're gonna definitely notice a performance loss, which then is gonna make you run the tool longer because you can't drive the power that it needs. So in the grinder, recommend the four amp hour battery for this great battery. Now let's look at chargers really quick. This charger is 45 bucks. It's an eight amp charge rate charger so that means it's going to 
charge your batteries pretty quickly. Like the four amp hour, it should charge that in, in less than an hour without a problem. Um, and then they have a dual bay charger. And this dual bay charger is gonna run you somewhere around a hundred bucks. Now, do I recommend the dual bay charger over the single bay and eight amp hour charger? And I'm not just gonna give an automatic yes. And the reason is this is an eight amp charger. This is an eight amp charger. This will charge parallel where they're charging two batteries at the same time. This is obviously you're gonna charge one battery and it'll charge the 12 volt or the 20 volt. And this is charging 12 volt or 20 volt as well. However, at half the rate. So in other words, if you're really needing this battery or let's say you're really needing this battery and you need to charge it, it's gonna charge at half the time on this if we put it in just that one side as it would on this. So this is gonna charge this twice as fast. Now, yes, the argument is, well, I could charge two batteries over here, but if you're waiting on this, that's not gonna help you out at all because now you're waiting twice as long for that battery. Now, if you're the type of person where you use all your batteries and then at the end of the day, you throw them in, a, in the charger and charge them, that's where this is gonna come in very handy because you can throw both of them in there, it'll charge both of them, and then you're ready to go um, whereas you'd have to come out and somehow swap these out for the, for the next battery. So that's where I'd recommend this. If you're charging multiple packs, you know, say end of the day, but it's not going to charge faster than the single bay eight amp charger. Hope that helps a little bit and saves you a little bit of money. And I'm not down in this. I'm just giving you the instance on where you want this and ne not necessarily that you always want a dual bay charger. Let's get a quick wait with the four amp hour battery. five pounds, five ounces, and bare tool, three pounds, 13 ounces. So three and three quarter pounds without the battery and yeah, about five and a quarter pounds, a little over five pounds, five ounces with the four amp hour battery. Gives you an idea. So you're looking at about a five pound tool to handle with the battery, not too bad. Especially again, this is a, a power driven tool that you're using to do some pretty heavy style of work. Um, so you're expecting to be holding something that has some weight to it. And it's nice to have that weight when you're actually using it for, for grinding and cutting. And before we leave on the pricing, uh, the cool thing about some of these new tools, five year warranty on the tools, three year on the battery. So some of these new Hercules are really stepping up the game on their warranties. Okay, we're gonna start by putting on a cutting disc. I'm gonna remove the battery. And then we'll press our arbor lock here and take off the spanner nut. Use a Z-Tech cutting wheel. And make sure you wanna put the flat part of this wheel on a cutting disc down. So the flat part goes against the blade or the wheel. And by the way, you don't need the wrench to tighten this up. Get your arbor lock, make sure the battery's off grab that wheel and just turn it pretty good. So as you're cutting, it's gonna tighten up on that nut. It's not gonna loosen it. So this is a piece of one inch rebar, some of the nastiest metal you can cut because it's a very trashy metal. Um, so one of the toughest things here is rebar. So this one inch rebar is gonna be a good uh, test path for the, uh, for the Hercules. So let's go. So you definitely can't just power through it and push it really hard, but if you let it run, it actually cuts pretty good. I'm gonna adjust our guard here just a bit. And I was trying to give you an angle to see a little bit better, but let me just go ahead and I'm gonna try to make a good quick cut on this.
able to cut that a little bit quicker and cleaner from not having to worry about your vantage point. And uh, yeah, so it's cutting pretty well. Again, it's not a, the most powerful grinder that I've used, but it's definitely powering through the cut without a problem. All right, tool free blade changes, no spanner wrench needed. So we just got done cutting. And I let this cool down just a few seconds, but typically these cutting wheels don't get really, really hot. So it's just a little bit warm, pull the battery off. And then I'm gonna hold that arbor lock, grab this with my hand and you wear gloves if you want to, but just, you wanna make sure you grab it flat and just turn it, pull that spanner off. Now, sometimes you're, if you're doing a lot of grinding, a lot of times that will, seize up on there pretty good and you may have to get a spanner wrench but for the most part you can usually take them off by hand and again put them back on keep that arbor lock no battery on here tighten it down and then you're good to go tool free blade changes wheel changes now we've got a piece of quarter inch plate steel I'm just going to put a bevel on this with a ceramic disc and see how well it does Yeah, it works pretty well. Can I stall it? Absolutely. So I can definitely stall it if I want to. But I can put quite a bit of pressure on there before doing so. So here's where it falls. If you're looking for a replacement for say an eight or 10 amp angle grinder, this is a great idea for that. And especially if you're on the Hercules platform, you already have some of these 20 volt batteries, then more power to you at 90 bucks, you can pick up this grinder and that's a great deal. Also like that they're adding a five year warranty onto these new Hercules 20 volt brushless tools as well. And they're even including a three year warranty on their batteries. Now I will let you know if you have some smaller batteries or even a five amp hour battery, you may not be as impressed with this grinder because with this four amp hour grinder, as I mentioned before, we're getting those 21700 cells, which have more capacity as well as they have more output. So definitely recommend going to their uh, high performance batteries, which is their four amp hour or even their eight amp hour. You can even get a 12 amp hour battery now. But price wise, where you're gonna end up is about 200 bucks if you buy a charger, a four amp hour battery and the grinder, which is still not bad when you look at kit prices of other grinders. But if you're looking for a 13 or 15 amp uh, grinder replacement, this is not it. This is meant to be in that eight to 10 amp range. Well, I don't know where it's meant to be, but that's where it's falling as far as performance wise. Impressive in that window and impressive with the pricing. Got some great features on that. Ergonomics are decent on this as well. So check it out. We'll have a link in the description or find it at your local Harbor Freight. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even TikTok. And if you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already? And by all means, did you hate our grinder video? Well, let us know in the comments why and give us that old thumbs down. Have a great day. Keep smiling.